Let us explore lines and intercepts. The question is, find area of the triangle formed by the coordinate axis and the line AX plus BY equals to C. So we have taken a very general form of equation of the line and with the help of this example, we will try to find the area formed by the coordinate axis and the line. And then we'll do some practice problems based on this particular example. Let's first understand what we're trying to do. So I'll just sketch a coordinate axis first. Let's say that's our coordinate axis with X along the horizontal line and Y the vertical line. And let us say that we have a line AX plus BY equals to C represented by this line. Okay. So the line forms x intercept at this point. We'll call this point as, let us say, A. And the y intercept B, B. Now, as you can see, with the coordinate axis, we have a triangle formed AB as the hypotenuse, O, the center of the coordinate axis forms the vertex of third vertex of this triangle. So we have a triangle OAB. Now let's read the question once again and understand what are we trying to do. The question is find area of the triangle formed by the coordinate axis and the line AX plus BY equals to C. So let us say that the line which we have sketched here this line is AX plus BY equals to C. So the triangle form is triangle OAB, right? So let me shade this triangle. We need to find area of this shaded triangle, right? Now, as you know, area of a triangle is, let's say, area of triangle O A B will be equals to half base times height. In the given situation, we can say base is O A, right? And height is O B. Now what is O A? O A actually is the X intercept, right? This is the X intercept. So the x-intercept point will give us the length of OA and the y-intercept will give us the length of OB. So if we can find x and y-intercepts, we can find area of this triangle. So that is the concept. Now let's find a general equation of this area using this general equation of the line. Okay, so let's rewrite this equation. It is AX plus BY equals to C. Now, how to find the X-intercept? As you know, for X-intercept, Y equals to 0, right? So we are trying to find X-intercept. That means we'll place Y equals to 0, right? So if I place Y equals to 0 in this equation, I get AX plus 0 equals to C, right? And therefore, I can calculate the value of X, which is equal to C over A. So my X-intercept is C over A, right? So when I say X-intercept is C over A, if you refer to this diagram here, that means this point is basically equals to C over A, comma, 0, Y value 0. That is what we're trying to say x intercept when y equals to 0, x value is c over a, right? Now c over a therefore is also equals to the length of OA. So we know OA equals to c over a. Do you see that? So you got the base of the triangle by finding the x intercept. Now let's find the value of y intercept. So y intercept means what? y intercept x value is 0. So we can write x equals to 0 and figure out what y-intercept is. So 
So if I substitute x equals to 0 here in our starting equation, let me number that equation, okay? So let's say this is our equation number 1. We got x intercept, let me call this equation number 2, okay? Now here for y intercept, I'm placing or substituting x equals to 0 in my equation. So I get 0 plus by equals to c. And from here we can divide both sides by b and get y equals to c divided by b. And that's my equation number 3. And this indeed is defining the point b, the y-intercept, which I can now write as 0 for the x-coordinate and c over b as the y-coordinate. Now as you can see, ob is indeed equals to c over b, right? So we got the value of both OA and OB. And these values are actually the X and Y intercepts of the line. Do you see that? I hope you appreciate it. So now it's easy to find the area of the triangle, right? So area of the triangle OAB can now be written as half OA, the X intercept, which is CA, right? C over A and OP, the Y intercept, is ratio of C and B, right? C over B. Let's multiply them. C times C is C squared. And in the denominator, we get 2 times AB. Do you see that? Neat. So that's a very useful formula. We can always say area of the triangle is equal to c square divided by 2ab if the equation is given to us as ax plus by equals to c, right? So let me highlight this equation. Now in the following videos, we'll take a couple of examples. We'll take the equation of line in different forms, you know, slope intercept form, standard form, right? And also there is an intercept form. So we'll take different forms of the equation, explore and find the area which the line makes with the coordinate axis. I hope you appreciate it and I hope you'll enjoy the journey with me of understanding how the lines, areas and the coordinate axis are related. Thank you and all the best.